Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. So, there was a uh, lady okay. in Vietnam. <laughs> There's lots of ladies in there Vietnam. There is a few. There's a couple ladies. So, uh, she was like a prominent like businesswoman, had to deal with like some, I don't know, banking, real estate, something like that. She was like, <gasps> yes. Okay. I know where you're going. I know the story. Okay. Keep it up. Keep uh, it going. All right. So what uh what ended up happening is there was some failing banks. There was three of them. Okay. And she and she uh helped uh organize like a merger and combine them all into one bank. Um to help save them. You know, kind of like a bailout that we do in the States. Okay. Okay. So there's a law in Vietnam that one person cannot own more than five percent of a bank. Ob- obviously integrity issues, you know, whatever. So okay. what she ended up doing is that an anti-globalist thing or something? I don't know. It's just it's if you own too much of the bank, you have too much power, especially if it's a large bank. Like okay. I don't know if the U.S. has anything like that. I have, I don't know the exact. Okay. Laws. I was wondering if that was something against glo- um, globalists. No, I, I'm not exactly sure. But so she ended up, uh, she formed a bunch of shell companies. Oh, yeah. And she ended up owning over 90% of the bank. Jesus, lady! So she ended up hiring her own managers, hiring her own people, getting them to approve her loans. It came out like she ended up like, I think it was something ridiculous, like 90% of the money lent out by the bank was to her. Like Yikes. through all these different like fake shell accounts and yeah. businesses and like whatever. She was at the top, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so needless to say, she she got found out. And there was a whole bunch of people that got um, indicted on this and whatever. Um, so they're finally facing the music. It was like something like twenty-seven billion or forty-four billion dollars of fraud, like you know, with whatever. And they sentenced her. And I think you know what she got. Tell them what the, what she got. I don't know. This is a different story. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> I don't okay. know. What she got community service. They gave her the death penalty. Okay, so this is a very different story, but it's very similar. This is Vietnam? Vietnam. This is like the most severe punishment they've given for something like this, obviously. Oh, my God. But, yeah, like, so they they gave her the death penalty for this. And in our this... country, when you commit bank fraud, you don't even go to jail. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. If they, if they would have, like, in 2008, when we had the financial crisis, if they would have put one of them people to death, we would be in a way was... different position than yeah. we are today. Yeah. Yeah. It would, it would wake you to F up. That's you for sure. You wouldn't want to mess with it. That's crazy. That is insane. Hey, but the amount of money that that she was funneling through the system. Oh yeah, this may be the same story because this is the same punishment. So I feel like this is the same. Oh, what story? story, story I thought you know? it was Korean though. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Vietnam. I thought it was Korean because they had like on the green fatigues with like the red stripes and like the the, the stars. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Either way. No, it says Vietnamese property tycoon. The property tycoon. Okay, that is the same story I heard of with the death penalty. And that's insane. Um, look, I have been I've been telling you for a long time that I'm a proponent for stricter uh what penalties. do you call it? Penalties for, for activities. And I feel like I look and I understand it's like the perception of that is like you're you're tyrants, you're seriously gonna put a person to death because of this we do not know the impact of the billions of dollars that she funneled how those billions of dollars could have been funneled out of uh what do you call that uh government institute government I mean, institutes yeah, programs that could oh, have been yeah. helping people who she had basically a, a like a, a grip on that country that was just insane where she was controlling everything and i don't i'm we don't know the true impact of of what what happened there no well does she deserve death i don't know that either well yeah i mean maybe not but i don't know yeah right? i don't we don't i don't know but that like either. i guess like i don't know if that you think either about how they handle stuff like that in the u.s yeah so they'll be like so oh here's this big bank and they did this this thing oh we accidentally quote unquote yeah. forgot to file the proper paper paperwork to do all this stuff and we made 10 billion dollars and then they find them 25 million dollars for doing it it's a cost of doing business 
Like, okay. there's no, why would anyone not continue to do that if they're yeah. like, oh, we can do it for years for $10 billion, and then when they find out, they're just going to give us a $25 million fine. And that's the problem. There's no, there's no. Accountability, yeah. There's no account. You don't have to be accountable because you already have enough money to pay it. Once you have the money to get out of any legal uh, argument, you don't have any, you, there's no issue. Right. There's no exactly. Issue. Now, if they were like, hey, you have to give back all $10 billion you made. And another billion dollar fine, that would really stop some people from doing things. Like give back all the profit plus a fine. Yeah. Like I'd be fine with it being a twenty five million dollar fine if they had to give back all the profit too. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like I don't understand. I don't understand how you do something criminal, make money, and you don't don't have to at least give back what you made as profit. A percentage based uh, tax. All of it. A percentage based tax. So. You do a crime where you do that, you have to give back all of the profits plus forty five percent of your forty percent of your worth, net worth. Or something. Yeah, dude. It's and then people will be like, Oh, we shouldn't do that. Or if you get caught, you spend life in prison. Something. Now, like the thing is is that a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're just, we're punching up essentially, right? We're punching up. We're attacking the millionaires, the billionaires, because we're jealous. We can't be like, them. Yeah, yeah. the thing is, is that if one of us were to do these crimes, we're going to jail. Oh, absolutely. We're going to jail. Well, it's funny. Cause like insider trading for stocks, it's like the, the Congress knows all sorts of shit. They sit on committees, buy stocks, profit, make hundreds of millions of dollars. And they're just but if, like, but if you and I did that, yeah, if like if we you, if we walked into a meeting and heard something, it was like, oh shit. Yeah, if Joe Walmart called us up and was like, <laughs> "Hey, buddy, I'm selling. You better, I'm selling. You when we announce our profits this quarter, exactly. tanking, exactly. You know, and we bought some puts, you know, to like, you know, bet the stock was going. We made up ten million dollars. We're Joe Schmo. Now we're millionaires. Now right. we go to jail. It, that's the truth, man. It's like you have to get up to a certain point where you can just cheat the system. Similar thing with, with like, I, I hate to say it, but similar thing with like the Donald Trump thing. The whole him uh, evaluating his properties at one extreme in order to get tax breaks and evaluating his properties at an opposite extreme to get uh, to get a certain evaluation of himself to be higher than what uh, it would it actually was. Right. A lot of people of wealth have said is that this is a common practice. A lot of people of wealth are telling on themselves because it's illegal to do that. Right. And they're like, but it's this common practice. Now I've heard like in, okay. So like an apartment in New York city, let's say like it's eight, it's eight, it's a thousand square feet, but 200 of it is stairwell. Now you're allowed to claim as a, as a landlord, you're allowed to claim that stairwell, but does that stairwell count as like the extra 200 feet to your apartment? So you live in an, a thousand square foot apartment, but you have a stairwell. So there's a lot of like gray area in there. Right. Right. But when you're, when you're just strictly like lying about stuff to get certain breaks and other people are just uninformed or they would get stricter more strict penalizations oh, yeah, for it absolutely. then you're, you're telling on yourself man you're committing crimes out here and I, I i don't know i feel like you should be held accountable i feel like you should be held accountable i'm not saying we should start holding out the death penalty for that's for people. A, i mean i feel that's a little extreme no matter what happened <laughs> Um, I, we don't know the whole story. But, I mean, All we're communist. getting is, oh, you're reading a headline. Did you read the article? Yeah, yeah, actually? but it's a communist country. They can do what they want. Oh, that, I, mean, I mean, that's big. Vietnam's fact. essentially China with less money and power. Yeah, I don't really know anything about Vietnam. Uh, I mean, they won the war. What? Did they? Yeah, they're still communists. We did they win our... the Vietnamese war? Yeah, I mean, we, we didn't. They're I'm, still communists. Joe, I'm not good at We went there and fought a war, and they're still communists. But didn't we win Desert Storm? That was an entirely different war. I'm just saying, but didn't we win that? I would say so, yeah. Okay, uh, why is Iraq still Iraq then? But they're not ran by a dictator. Didn't we win uh, the war in Iraq? <laughs> yes. So why is why are women being stoned again in that country? Uh, oh, yeah, you ain't hear about that, huh? They, they decide they're going to start stoning women again in that country. Oh, no, in Iraq? Uh yeah, wherever the hell that's going on, yeah. The Taliban. Yeah, the Taliban decided they're going to start stoning women again. Man, that's insane. Yep. You shouldn't throw rocks. 
We shouldn't. Oh, man. <laughs> the world man. The, the world is really fucked up, man. The world is fucked up. <laughs> so, anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazetown.com. Subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out. Uh...